So I've had to do a bit of uh, offline to kind of record all of those directions, and I am ready to rock and roll. Let's go ahead and move into this. So don't forget, we're doing this ancient cliff dwelling thing, and we have to do brine, lime, yellow, blah, blah, blah. So first order of business is brown. You'll see the stone up here. This is a brown stone. I better stone. put that back or I could get really lost. And uh, we're going to go in here. And then uh, lime is here. I better put that back so, or I could get yeah. really lost. And I think we already found the key that was in there. But uh, we're looking for keys. So let's go ahead and do that. And oh, look, there's some pots here. Okay, so now we have three of those, I believe. One... Wait, I only have one? Oh, because I second chanced. Oh, wow. Okay, well that's... unfortunate. <laughs> Crud. So, uh, next is yellow. So that's back that way, so we gotta go yellow now. I don't know which way I'm gonna go. This way, maybe. So we gotta find more keys. Let's go here, since we're here. Okay, that's that one. And we did that one, and this is yellow. So we'll go yellow now. So now we need red. We'll go red, which is the stairs up top here. And next we need blue. Okay, so we got that one now. So that goes down, and then we need orange. Oh, orange, please. There's orange there. I don't have much choice. I have to go this way. And then it's got to be only one choice. It's got to be green or lime. And now we got to go yellow, which is back up. Okay. Let's do a yellow. And then we need brown. There is only brown. And then we need blue. I'll go and check this vase here. If it'll let me. It will not let me. So I've got orange. So it's gotta be, that's red. No, we gotta go this way. To orange. And blue. And then brown is next. Okay, let's go this way. Brown. Lime. And orange is what we need after that. There's nothing here. Did we not just come out of orange? Okay, now that's key is done. Oh boy, orange. Okay, so that one was that one. So I think it's red. I might have actually messed this up already. So then it's red and then blue. And then yellow. Lime and blue, and then we need lime again. But I see there's a, a boss here. Yikes! Falling down there would not be fun. I agree. That is dangerous, highly dangerous. So then we have. I guess it's, don't have a choice here. Brown. And then yellow should be the next one. Uh, what a view here, though. Can't seem to get to that. Oh, we have actually all the keys. Oh, that's good. That doesn't go there. Okay, let's do this. This goes here. Yep, this goes here. That doesn't look right. No, apparently that. Oh no, that of course. That doesn't look right. Come on, relax, Nancy. We got this. This goes here. 
And this goes here. This goes here. This goes here. That looks right. And then... This goes here. Go. Open, please. Ooh, what's this in here? What is this? Francis V. Look at the V on the ground. There it is. Dirk Valentine's treasure. Uh-oh. Solid gold hearts. Aw, that's awesome. I want solid gold hearts. What else is in here? Got solid gold hearts on the ground, too. Hmm. Alright, well, at least we found the treasure. Uh, okay. Uh oh. Oh, would you look at that? Why, hello, Nancy. Find the treasure yet? So you're the one who's been sabotaging the ranch. That's right. Here my buddies and I went to all that trouble. Wrangling that horse, busting that pipe, cutting those wires trying to scare people off the ranch so we could tear the place apart looking for the treasure. When all we really had to do was what I just got done doing. Follow you. You went to a lot of trouble for nothing. The treasure's gone. Well, now I don't believe you, Miss Nancy. Oh, and by the way, it's too far to make it back to the ranch without a horse, and I just ran yours off. Which means you, to use an old cooking expression, are toast. That's what you think. Looks to me like the only way out is the way you came in, Nancy. So, ready or not, here I come. <laughs> what? What do you mean, ready or not? I don't even know what There's to say. There's gotta be a way to stop Shorty. Think! I'm getting close! Uh, what are we supposed to do? I don't know. Just went through another door, Nancy! Oh no, I don't want you to do that. Okay. Went through another one! Only four to go! Uh, where do I go now? I'm just three doors away from you, Nancy! Ah! Here's Shorty. <laughs> oh my lord! <laughs> that scared me. Okay, we're gonna try it Looks again. Looks to me like the only way out is the way you came in, Nancy. I got you this so, time. So, ready or not, here I come. Let's do this. I got you. Let's go. So we know we now need to get the red one. I'm getting close! No, you're not. Can I take this one? Oh, man. Okay. Just went through another door, Nancy! Quick, quick, quick. Went through another one. Only four to go. Don't you worry, we got this covered. We're swatching there. rocks. I'm just now three I better doors hide. Away from Last me. door. After I get the treasure, I'll deal with you. Yeah, you do that, mister. You're gonna get lost forever. Whoa! You switched door markers on me, didn't you? That was downright mean, Nancy. I could have hurt myself. At least you can do is help me off of here. How about it? Nah, I think I'll go get the sheriff and let him help you off of there. Dear Hannah, it turns out that Shorty had ridden to the cliff dwellings on the Phantom Horse, which was really just a trick horse that a friend of one of his bank robber buddies had trained. Since my horse was gone and it was getting dark, I wound up riding it back to the ranch so I could call the sheriff. You should have seen the look on everyone's face when I rode up on a glowing horse. <laughs> it looks like the phosphorescent powder that they used to make it glow was harmless, but Tex is taking care of the horse until he's sure it's okay. Mary Yazzie has straightened everything out with the Raleigh's, and now she comes over a lot, mostly to see Tex. He turns beet red whenever she's around. It's actually kind of cute. Speaking of cute, Dave confessed to the Raleigh's as soon as they got home from the hospital, just like he said he would. They not only forgave him, they even offered to split the treasure with him if it turns out they can keep it. Sheriff Hernandez is looking into it. The best part is, Bess and George finally got here, and finally. we've been having a ball. Here's a picture of the three of us on our horses. Unfortunately, Dave took it. Guess he didn't realize his finger was over the lens. <laughs> See you in a couple of days. Love, Nancy. P.S. 
I started reading the Charlena Purcell novel Aunt Bet has, and you know what? I can't put it down. <laughs> Yay! We did it! Hey, sassy detective! Congratulations on solving the secret of Shadow Ranch. Dave and Tex got together and decided to nickname you... Snoopy! For relentless interviewing suspects. Love it. If dreams can come true, what about curses? Well, in my next mystery adventure, you can find out for yourself, if you dare. I've been invited to a creepy old castle in England to find out who or what is terrorizing its residents. Could it be that the spirit of a centuries-old witch has returned to seek revenge? And why, after 300 years, has the beast of Blackmoor returned to prowl the moors again? The answers to these and many other dark secrets will be uncovered in my next case, The Curse of Blackmore Manor. That is going to do it, folks. We're done. Another Nancy Drew game done. I actually like this game a lot. I mean, it was a long game compared to some of the other Nancy Drew games, but I enjoyed it. Hopefully you did all as well. I think that the uh, whole riding a horse part was definitely uh, <laughs> something I enjoyed the most. But anyways, that'll do it for now. We, of course, will be playing the next Nancy Drew game in the series very soon. Please stick around for that. I'm Eric Gibbs. Thank you for watching.